This is Wednesday night fight night. That's what we, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers and places we don't see. And we don't fight our battles with our hands. We fight them on our knees. And we fight them, and the Bible says that uh, the, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. And I'm telling you, when you, when you learn to pray and you start praying in the authority of Jesus, I was so encouraged uh, when I met Jeb out in the parking lot when Luann was in the hospital and she just went into the emergency room and Jeb was out there and and I've shared this before, but I'm going to share it again because it was really encouraging to me um, to hear him say this. He said, a lot of times I come to church, he said, I usually get a nugget here and there. He said, but something that changed my life. He said, when I was in there praying and I prayed for my mom, he said, I used the key to the throne room. And and, and he, he cried. I mean, I watched the Holy Spirit come and just, man, it was just... The hair stood up on me when he said it, and I just knew that he had been in the throne room. He, he'd come, and he was in the presence of the Lord. He took a need to the presence of the Lord, and that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to go into the presence of the Lord. We're going to go right before the throne because of what Jesus did. He said, when he tore the veil and said, it is finished, it was finished, and we have access to the throne room. So we're only as strong as our prayer life. I believe that. I believe this church is only as strong as our prayer, as, as our prayer life. And so we've got to learn to pray and, and start thinking of prayer is not just something that's an add-on. It's, we've got to pray all the time, pray without ceasing. That's what the Bible says. I was, I was thinking about Leviticus 6. I know Leviticus, oh my, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a rough book right there sometimes, isn't it? But when we're talking about um, God was giving instructions to Moses and Aaron about the temple, Leviticus 6 and verse 8, it says this. It says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Give Aaron and his sons the following instructions regarding the burnt offering. The burnt offering must be placed, uh, must be left on top of the altar until the next morning. And the fire on the altar must be kept burning all night. Say all night. In the morning after the priest on duty has put on his um, official linen clothing and the linen garments, he must clean out the ashes of the burnt offering and put them beside the off altar. And then he must take these garment, off these garments and change back into his regular clothes and carry the ashes outside of the camp to a place that is ceremonial clean. Meanwhile, the fire on the altar must be kept burning, said kept burning. It must never go out. Each morning, the priest will add fresh wood to the fire and arrange the burnt offering on it. Then he will burn the fat of the peace offerings on it. Remember, the fire must be kept burning. Say, kept burning. On the altar at all times, it must never go out. Did you see the common thing there? The fire must always stay burning. We've got to have fire, and we've got to, and I tell you, prayer starts that. Prayer ignites the fire in us, and we've got to keep that fire going. We have to keep that communication going to the Lord. It should go up all the time. Praise is part of that. When you start praising the Lord, if you can't get your prayers to go up, start praising him. I'm telling you, it'll work every time. If you start just lifting him up, say, Lord, I lift you up. I praise you. I magnify you. Fire is the vehicle that consumes the sacrifice. Amen? And the sacrifice, uh, his sacrifice was for sin. So I'm telling you, if you start learning, we just, we just pray all the time. We got we to gotta put an importance on it. Um, keep the fire going. It's a, it was a, sometimes it's a job to keep the fire going. Amen? He didn't say it would be like easy and it was going to burn by itself. He said the, the priest has got to come in and, and he's got to clean out the ashes. He's got to get the, you can't live on yesterday's fire. You got to clean out the ashes and you got to take them out and then you got to make, put fresh wood on. It's not easy. It's not something that's just, you've got to consciously, and that's the way it is with prayer. Sometimes we just think, well, it's, it is, it's going to happen. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. That's the wrong way to look at it. 
we can petition God. We can go before the throne and things change. I find when I pray more and regularly, more and regularly things happen. Amen? That's good. And it's up to us to stir that up inside of us. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Uh, I have a, the, first, the first thing that I want to do, it's a little odd, but I know the Lord told me to do it. And so I, wanna, I want to, for you to be right now thinking of somebody, and I want you to go to somebody and pray with them. And, and I'm going to read in James 5, 16, it says this. It says, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. So just take a moment. I'm going to pray right now. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, while I'm praying, think of some, some, if there's somebody, maybe it might be your wife, it might be a, a somebody, a friend, maybe somebody, but if you've got something against them, the Bible says when you come to the altar, if you've got an alt with your brother, go back and tell them and make amends with them. I'm not saying that's what it is, but maybe there's something, an alt there. Maybe there's an offense. Maybe, maybe you have a fault. It's not you're going to go point somebody else's fault out. You understand? Don't do that. We don't want no fight. This is Wednesday night fight night. It'll bring a whole nother definition of fight night. But if you've got a fault or you've got something on your heart that you know that you need prayer for, that you want, you want someone to agree with you in prayer, is this making sense? But I know this is what the Lord has showed me. And so... I'm going to pray. Maybe it's unforgiveness. Maybe it's bitterness. Maybe it's just a fault. But we're going to, or just something that you say, hey, I want, I want you to agree with me that I need, I need help in this area. So I'm going to pray. And while I'm praying, you think of somebody. Or maybe if you don't have anybody, that's okay too. Maybe you just want a, someone to agree with you in prayer over a situation. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you. God, I thank you for who you are and what you're doing in our, in our, in our midst in this, in this body. Father, I pray the Holy Spirit would just lay, lay it on our hearts. Show us right now. Let us hear your voice. Let us still our spirits and hear your voice of maybe something that we need to share with each other that we, you, we need prayer for right now. Maybe a person that we need to go to and just confide and say, look, I, I need prayer. Degree with me on this. God, I pray that right now. Reveal that to us. Pray it. I pray that you would just show, Holy Spirit, shine your light on that right now. We ask these things right now in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I know that the Lord told me this, so if you have somebody you want to go to, just, 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 you might as well all stand up, stand up. That'll start it out right there. You got to start a movement. You just start, start moving. Just if you want to walk over something, it's not that you have, maybe have something, but you just want somebody to pray with you about something. Something to agree about. Just, just find somebody. Just, just ask them right now. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. So that you may be healed. Say that with me. So that you may be healed. Isn't that so good? Yes. Amen. This is good. This is, this is good. This is practicing praying for each other. You might as well learn to practice in the house of God and then you can walk it out. Amen. All right. All right. 
So let's 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 do some uh, corporate prayer together. The first thing I want to pray for is I want to pray for our families. If you have any sickness or um, um, you want protection for your family, or maybe you need wisdom to spot the enemy from for your family. How many feels that? That, that you know that the enemy is out there and you want wisdom, you want discernment. And so, uh, if, if, yeah, let's, uh, let's just pray that right now. Is anybody would, how many would like to, somebody would like to pray over the families tonight? Anybody? I'll pray over them. I'll pray over them. I also want to pray for sickness. Has anybody got sickness in your body? Glenn, Glenda's sick. There's a lot of sickness going around right now. Let's pray for that. Let's Let's bind that in Jesus' name. Amen? He's still Jehovah Rapha. He has not changed his name. Amen? He's still our healer. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we bring our families to you right now. God, I pray, and, and everyone in this room, we are families. Maybe we not have physical family, but we are the family. We are the family of God, even the ones watching online right now. Father, I pray that, that as we come into agreement, Father, I pray for sickness in the name and in the authority of Jesus, that sickness has got to go. It is just a name, at the, and it's got to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that right now. God, I know that you're our healer, and so we claim that. Father, I pray for protection for our families, God, that you would protect them, that you'd put a, a hedge of protection around them. If their kids are going to school, that you would, you would just put your arms around them, and Holy Spirit, that you would lead them and guide them while they're away from their parents. Father, I pray for protection um, from the enemy as, as a lot of times things are, are coming across the, our, 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 our phones and our television or whatever. God, the Holy Spirit, that you would rise up a check inside of us and said, this is not for us. You shouldn't be watching this or you shouldn't. Holy Spirit, I pray, make our ears sensitive. This is protection. This is protection. So, Father, I pray that for every family that's here, every individual that's here. You're our family, so Lord, we pray for our, our family right now. God, I pray that right now in Jesus' name, God. I pray for a spirit of discernment to rest on this body. God, I pray that we would be able to discern the enemy, what he's doing. Not that we would get sucked into that black hole. Not that we stare at it and infixiate on the problem but that we can identify it and move on and pray against it and protect ourselves and our family. Lord, I pray that right now. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in our midst. I know that you're doing great things, and I know you've called us. We are the family of God, and we, Lord, help us to act like family. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can you praise him just a minute? Lord, we thank you. We magnify you. Lift your voice. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We magnify you. Jesus, you're worthy. You are worthy of all the praise. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on Calvary for us. Thank you, Lord, that you, you're still the healer. You're still our provider. You're all the things that we have need of. Lord, we thank you for that. We praise you, Jesus. We magnify you for who you are. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Somebody want to grab the jar in the back with all the names? The, uh, the lost. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's good. Amen. How many's got lost loved ones? Amen. How many's got friends? And we need to stand in the in the gap for them, don't we? Amen. Would somebody want to pray for the lost and um, lead that prayer? You will. Okay. Awesome. If anybody would like to. To come up and, and, and pray and just come into agreement. Don't, you know, just come on up. 
It's okay. These are, if you've got lost loved ones and you want us to pray over them, I believe. How many believes God still saves? Amen. It's the same power. Amen. The, the blood has not lost any of its power. Amen. Well, Lord, we just come before you tonight, Father. We thank you. We thank you that you hear us, Lord God, and we can petition you. We thank you that you love us so much, Lord God, and that it is not your will for any man to perish, Lord God, that, and not know you. So I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit, Father, would just come in where they, wherever they are. You see every name that is in this jar. You see every name that is on our hearts that we may not have in the jar. But, Lord, you know the ones that are lost. And, and Lord, so I pray, God, that you would just, Father... Uh, Arrest us, Father, to, to have more of a burden for the lost, Lord God. Help us, Father, to, to go after the, the one, Father, Lord God, that may be still out there. And I pray that you would give us a heart toward that, Lord. Give us, give us a, a burden for them. And, Lord, I pray that you would give them ears to hear, Lord. I don't know who may need to come into their life. You can come at it in an angle that we, we don't even understand, but, Lord, you can do it. And I thank you for that. And we just praise you and we give you glory for the ones that are going to come into the kingdom. We know that through this prayer and in the name of Jesus, amen. 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 God's good. Praise the Lord. We're going to you have the, the world. Let's pray for the world. We're going to pray for, the, for Israel. Um, I don't know if you've keeping up with anything. I just watch enough news to be informed, I promise you. Because if I watch too much... I've got to pray for sanctification again. <laughs> and so, but, but I know enough right now that there is an anti-Semitic spirit that is rising like never before. Um, if you, I saw pictures of India where there's just thousands upon thousands upon thousands protesting against Israel. And, and, and they were the victim here. And, and God is for them, I'm telling you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? And so we need to pray for them, pray for the people of Israel. I also want to pray for Ukraine and Russia. There's, there's people that are, that are innocent on both sides of that conflict, the war that is going on. The time is coming to an end. I mean, if you can't see that, uh, you're, we are, we, you have no spiritual fire in you. You, you, need, to, you need to see that right now. You've, uh, so let's pray. Let's pray for them. You going to pray for them, Mom? What's that? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Father God, we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just come to you because, Lord, where can we go but to you? Lord, the things that are going on in the world, God, it's just like it's rolling out of, out of control. But, God, we know that it's the forces of evil and good that are fighting. And, Lord, we pray that you'll push back all the forces of darkness, God. Lord, we pray that you'll just move it, Lord God. And Lord, we pray that you'll put protection around the people, Lord, that are in the middle, that are caught in the middle. And God, we pray, God, that for Israel, God, I pray that you'll give them judgment. And Lord, that you'll give them discernment. And Lord, you'll give them what they need, Lord, to, to finish the task that, that you've called them to do. And Lord, I pray you protection for Israel. I pray for peace of Jerusalem. Lord God, I pray for peace for the world. But we know, Lord God, the peace will come when you come. And Lord God, we ask that you just move, move by your precious hand and move upon the people, Lord. And God, comfort those that need comforting. God, we pray that you'll send them a way to rescue the hostages, God. Lord, we pray that they'll be released, Lord God, and that no harm will come to them. Father, we ask this in Jesus' name, Lord God. We know that you know everything, God. You see everything and you hear everything, Lord God. And we pray that you go before them and you go with them and behind them, Lord God. And we pray, God, that you'll give us enough discernment to see where we're living in this world today day. And God, give us a burden and a heart for the souls that are lost and for those that are that are out of out of touch with you, Lord God. And we pray for revival in the church, Lord God. Move like you've never moved before. God, we thank you for the revival that's going on around the world. We thank you for the revival that's going on in Iran. Lord, we thank you for all the movement and we realize that they're both both are coming to a, a climax, to a, a height that they've never been before. And God, I pray 
pray that in the church, God, even in our church, Lord God, that you'll move like a mighty wind, Lord, upon us, Lord. Fill us all with the Holy Ghost and fire, Lord, the fire that Tim was talking about tonight, Lord God. Lord, I pray that you will move upon each and every one of us, Lord God, that we'll just spend time with you, Lord God, and realize that you're coming soon. Help us to be looking for your appearing, Lord God, and just trust you, Lord God, and look up for you're our help. You're our redeemer. You're our salvation. You're all that we have need of, Lord God. And I pray that you'll touch each and every heart and life in this church, Lord, and every church around, Lord, that you'll just stir us up, Lord God, to do the work that you've called us to do and be with us, Lord God, because we can't do it in our own strength, Lord. We need you. And Lord, I need you with all my heart, Lord God. I ask that you use us all for your glory. And Lord, let it be done. Let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. I ask this in Jesus' name, and even come so, Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. We need the flag of our country. We'll just put that globe for a side for a minute. Would anybody like to pray for the... Um, our country, this is our, our leaders, our first responders, our military. All those who are in service, would anybody like to lead that prayer? I think that would be great, David. Thank you. And that back here to him. Father God, we lift up this country to you, Lord, that you be glorified, that your name will be lifted up, and you will be praised. Father God, we ask that you would restore this country the purpose for which it was founded, that you would be glorified. Oh, Lord, may your spirit come and be upon your people. Father God, we ask that you would remove the unrighteous leaders who lead us in ways that are not your ways, and that you would raise up your righteous leaders to lead us in your ways, that we would know you more. We would walk in your ways and be able to bring honor and glory to you, Lord. Father God, send us revival in your Holy Spirit that the hearts of the people would turn to you, Lord. That we would seek you. We would seek your face, Lord, and turn away from evil, Lord. That you would be able to heal this land. Father God, we lift up our first responders and military and for the pastors and all those who take care of us, we ask that your blessing would be upon them, that your hands would be upon them, Lord, and protect them. Father God, we ask all this in your precious Son's name. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. That's good. That's good. Amen. I want to pray for our missionaries. And Mela is on the mission field, so she did reach the, her destination, I think, right? And so she looks really tired from what I've heard, but she did reach there. So let's just pray for her protection. Let's pray for all our missionaries. And uh, so um, does Megan want to pray? We'll pray, let's just agree. It's for Mela, all the missionaries, the ones we support, all the missionaries all over the world right now. You know, it's a very unrestful time. Yes. You know, it's different. We live in our country. It's, it's, we're freedom. We don't know. We've never seen violence, but I'm telling you, not like the violence that's going on right now in other countries. So let's pray for our missionaries. Let's really just dig into the throne room and just bring it before the Lord tonight. Lord, thank you for everything that you do. Lord, I thank you for allowing us to be here, to have the opportunity to pray in free will, Lord, that for these missionaries that don't have that opportunity. God, I just pray as they're stuck in these places that they're not even allowed to preach the gospel, God, that, that you would give them strength. Lord, that you would give them the words. You said go into all the nations and preach the gospel. And you said beautiful are the feet that take the message. So, God, I just pray that what they need, Lord, would be provided for them. And, God, I just pray as we are here for them and praying, God, that they would have peace in their hearts. 
Lord, as they're maybe troubled and they may be going through a whole lot, Lord, I just pray that you would touch them, and Lord, that you would move in their hearts, God, that your Holy Spirit would refresh them. God, they need to be filled up because they need to be able to pour out. And so, God, I just pray continually as they go through each and every day, Lord, relying on you, Lord, that you would just fill them up. And Lord, we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to pray for our church, um, for wisdom, direction, um, for to win souls. We want to see people. We want to see people come to Christ, and and for the glory of the Lord. I want to see the glory of the Lord poured out on this place. Not that we receive the glory, but that it's poured out. You know, and that we might see it. Because I tell you, if we ever see the glory of the Lord, we'll be forever changed. Amen. I know Isaiah, when he came into the throne room and he saw the glory of the Lord and it was surrounding the throne, he fell to the ground and said, oh, I'm a man of unclean lips. I tell you what, people, when we come into the glory, we, we, we will, we, it will cause us to want to just repent of anything that would be in us. Amen. And so let's just pray for our church. Would somebody like to lead Lead the prayer for our church. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, right now we're just lifting this church body up to you, Lord. You know, as, as from the time that we started with just a few of us, the, how we've grown, but not just grown as far as numbers, but we've grown in you. And we praise you for that. We ask that you just continue to allow us to be that lighthouse for this community that people will just want to come to. And when they're lost, that they, can, they know where the light is. They know where to go. They know where to find the truth, Lord. And we praise you that for everything that you've done, for all the different ministries that we have that allow the doors to open for many people to come in. And we just ask that every time we have these events, every time we do something, that it will allow somebody to just open their hearts and, and cry out to you. And we thank you and we praise you and we ask that you continue to bless us and guide us, Lord, and and just allow us to just to reach out and not just reach out, but maybe move and and. Help us to open other doors for other churches. You know, it's not just about us, Lord, but we're just asking that you just pray, not just for our church, but every church body that's around, every church body that is struggling, that, that you just wake the churches up. Wake them up and, and show them that, that they need you and that they have got to put you first. They've got to lay down some of the things aside. Just lay it aside and start putting you first. Bringing, bringing your holy word back into our churches. Lord, we, we don't want just our body to grow. We want everybody in this county, everybody in the state, everybody in the United States. We want all of our churches to just get, come home. Come home to our roots, to where we belong. And that's putting you first and glorifying you. We just thank you and we praise you, Jesus. In your name, amen. 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 I had, uh, I had a phone call for I came to church and it had somebody that asked us and said, um, asked me what we believe. And I said, well, we, we're a spirit-filled church. They said, well, you, you, do you speak in tongues? I said, we believe in speaking in tongues, absolutely. And, and I don't know if they, they agreed with that or not, but you know what? I am not ashamed of the gospel. Amen. It is the power of that that's inside of us. I'm telling you, if you want the power of the Holy Spirit, that's the last thing I want to pray for, is just pour out the Holy Spirit on us. Just, just fill us up. I, I know, I know. When you get saved, you get the Holy Spirit inside of you, and and and, and you can walk victorious. But there is just nothing like when Jesus comes and He wants to push you down into the water and bring you up, and you're just Holy Spirit. I tell you, you can always get more. 
You can always get more. I would like another big drink. I don't know about you, but I would just want it poured from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I've been praying more in the spirit the last few weeks, and I just feel a difference. There's a shift that's going on. So let's pray for that. Anybody, if you're hungry for the Holy Spirit, just raise your hand this, tonight. Just, just receive right now. And Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I know that the word that you give me for this year is it's going to be the outpouring. And Father, you're not a man that you should lie. And you said you would pour out. You would open up the windows. So Father, I'm asking, open up the windows of heaven. Pour out your spirit. You said in the last days that you would pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. I believe that, Father, and I'm claiming it. I'm standing on your promises tonight, and I'm believing, Father, that people are going to be filled with the Holy Spirit, just not just filled, but baptized, please push down into the water of the Holy Spirit, come up, and just be on fire. God, we need the fire. Don't let us let the fire go out. I'm praying that right now in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that they would just steal themselves before you and they'll hear your, hear your voice tonight. Hear, our, hear your voice. Lord, I pray that right now. When we leave this place, don't let us be the same, Father. Let us go deeper with you. Father, I know that you've got more for each and every one of us, from the youngest to the oldest, and so I'm praying that right now. Move in our, our hearts. Move in this congregation Move on us. Pour it out on me, Father. Let it start with each one of us. Let every hungry heart call out to you and say, pour it out on me, Lord. I pray that right now in Jesus' name. Help us to come closer to you. Lord, we praise you. We magnify you, Jesus, for who you are. We lift you up, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. How's that? Amen. Amen. The Bible says to ask for the gifts that he would give them to you. They're gifts. He's got them. So, Father, I'm asking right now in this congregation, in this congregation, Lord, and all and the people watching online, I pray, Lord, that you would just pour out your gifts, that you would deal out your gifts because I know that's what you've done. You, 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 you've got good gifts, Good gifts. If we being evil know how to give good gifts, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? In the Holy Spirit, you deal out the gifts. So I pray for discernment right now. I pray for words of knowledge that would come. I pray for gifts of tongues, Lord. I pray that right now. I pray that, Lord, that we'd see miracles, the gifts of miracles, gifts of faith. Lord, those are all your gifts, the Holy Spirit, that you give out. So I'm asking right now, Jesus, I'm asking, I'm coming before your throne because I'm allowed to. And you want me to, Father. And I'm asking for, for this family right now, pour out the gifts right now. And each one, Lord, I believe in the days ahead we're gonna see gifts manifest in each person, God. I believe that. I'm asking that, Father. I'm believing it. I'm believing that we're going to see missionaries. We're going to see ministers. We're going to see uh, uh, better fathers, better mothers, better, better, better kids, Lord. I believe that right now. I speak that in the name of Jesus. I'm believing it right now. We're going to impact the community, impact the world. In the name of Jesus, we speak these things. God, I thank you for what you're doing. Lord, I thank you for your presence. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're with us. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen. If you receive that, say amen. 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 All right, you may go back to your seats now, and we're going to need someone to help me pass out the, the they look at there. Oh, oh, we'll just pick them up, okay. we still got the wrapper ones. I have a hard time figuring out how to open those. I don't know about you all, but those ones are a little bit harder. If you want to take communion, I guess um, we'll just make a line and come down this side if you, if you want to take communion tonight. I should have said this earlier.
Do you have more in case we need more? The blood. Hey. Amen. I know we've prayed tonight, and it's been good. But, I'm, you know, as we go and we take communion, let's just ask the Lord if there's anything in between me and you tonight. Just check your heart and ask him, Lord, if there's something that, that I need to, to for, for me to ask you to, to, to clear up, just, just do that. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. The Bible says to examine yourself and have the Holy Spirit examine you. So just do that. Just take a moment and just, 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 just ask the Holy Spirit quietly. Is there anything that, that you want me to do? He might speak to you to do something. Amen. First Corinthians eleven twenty three says this. It says, this is Paul speaking. He was talking about the Last Supper. He said, for I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord took some bread and gave thanks for it to God. Thanks, thanks to God for it. He broke it into pieces. And he said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And so as, as we're going to partake of the, of the body, which is the bread, that let's remember what Jesus did for us. Let's remember that he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, and upon his stripes we are healed. I preached about the, the keys of the cross the last few weeks, and everything that he did is still available today. It was complete what he did at the cross was complete. Amen. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. I thank you for your body that was broken for me. I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. Uh, Lord, I remember seeing seeing the, uh, the passion and seeing the, and I know that doesn't even come close to go in what we went through, Lord, but it was so hard to look upon. But I know that you did that for me, for my healing of my body. And so I pray right now, I pray for every person here that as we take communion tonight, we take of the bread, the body, that everything that you provided for us in the atonement that's already provided, I pray that it would be applied anew and afresh in our life. And I pray that our, our, our belief level would just come up, that it would activate it in faith. I pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may partake of the bread. Verse 25 says this, and it says, In the same way he took the cup of wine, and after supper saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes. One thing the Lord showed me about the, the blood, there's victory in the blood of Jesus. Victory in the blood of Jesus. And when you, when you, when you remember, if, if I were to die, and I'd say, do this, remember me, I wouldn't want you to be sad. I would want you to celebrate because I made it to heaven. And Jesus wants you to celebrate because you have victory over the enemy. Amen? Amen. That's so good when you think about it that way. It's victory over the enemy. And this is, this is something you can tell the enemy every time. Lord, I'm doing this in remembrance of you. I'm, you. The Bible says they overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. 
So I believe that just like Paul, when he got, Paul Otto, when he got baptized in the river and he said, I confess Jesus Christ as my, my Savior, man, the hair stood up on me. I, conf- I, I, I believe tonight, I, I pronounce in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus cleanses me from all my sins. It sets us free. God, we thank you for the blood tonight. We thank you, we praise you, we magnify you for who you are. Thank you for your blood, Lord. I, I, I apply it to, to my kids, to my, to my house, to, this, to the congregation. Lord, we, we ask the blood of Jesus to be over that. We proclaim victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing and what you're gonna do. We ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. You may partake of the cup. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isn't he good? Hallelujah. Isn't he wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Eyes have seen, ears have heard what's recorded in God's Word. Isn't Jesus, my Lord, wonderful? Amen. Let's pray. Father, we just ask right now as, as we leave this place, Lord, I pray that your peace will go with us that your face would shine upon us and that you would, you would just bless each family here, each person, God. I, I, I know that. I pray that what we receive here tonight, that we'll take it with us out and, and show somebody the love of, of God. The lo- your love would shine through us, Holy Spirit. I pray that right now. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to Crossroads Cowboy Church Online. If you're watching this for the first time or maybe you've been watching for a while and you felt the Holy Spirit during the message this morning stir your heart and you want to give your life to Christ, you want to surrender your life to Jesus, maybe he's been dealing with you for a while or maybe it's just right now you have just felt his his presence drawing you, it's as easy as this. You 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 just say, Lord, I'm sorry of my sins. I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I surrender my life to you. I want to become a new person. I don't want to be the person I am right now. I want to become uh, a child of God. I want to, to do my, live my life for you. I, I, I can't, I've tried doing it on my own, and I can't do it anymore. And it's as simple, really as simple as that. I've heard people giving their heart to the Lord in all kinds of places. You don't have to be in a church. You can find Jesus because Jesus is right there with you. All you have to do is call out to him. Just say that prayer. Say, Lord, forgive me. I believe, Jesus, you are the Son of God. Come into my heart. Change my life. Change my direction. And if you've done that this morning or whenever whenever you're watching this, it doesn't have to be. It can be anytime, anywhere. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. Welcome to the family of God. We're brothers and sisters in Christ. And so I I just, I'm so excited for you. And I know that God has a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11 says this. I know the plans I have for you. Plans for good, not of evil, and to prosper you. And if you give your heart to Christ and you surrender it, he's got a new plan. He's got, from, from this day, from this day, you're forgiven and moving on. Welcome to the family. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Give God praise right now. That's what you can do right there in your home. And if, uh, if, you, if, you, if you did that, write down below, uh, write in the comments, let us know, and we can be praying for you. Write your name in there and say, hey, I've given my heart to Christ, and we'll, we'll be praying for you here at Crossroads. Our goal here at Crossroads is to make Jesus famous, not to, not to make our church famous, but to make Jesus famous. And so if you, if you want to help us spread the gospel and to reach other people and to change other lives, It's as easy as this. You can like and subscribe our channel, and you can share it with somebody. It's sharing the gospel wherever you go. God bless you. Thank you for watching again, and uh, hope you tune in again. God bless.